The front wheel stability is absolutely crucial for minimizing your drag on your body as a rider. Um, the reason is, is, particularly in the wind, uh, those riders who have noticed on, on particularly gusty, windy days, um, particularly with old school, maybe V-shaped rims, you'll feel the front wheel reaction that be, can, can be quite unsettling. Um, at Swissside, we put a lot of effort into reducing the sensitivity of our front wheels to the wind. Actually, here at the GST Wind Tunnel in Germany, we've designed and built a special balance uh, that sits underneath the front wheel for measuring the steering torque in crosswind conditions. Now, people will ask, you know, what's the reason for having different sized wheels? And it's exactly for this reason. Um, on a wind still day, you can run a, a, an 800 at the rear and an 800 at the front. As soon as the wind starts to pick up, um, although our, winds, our, our wheels are particularly insensitive to the wind, there's always a limit where uh, the front wheel stability becomes critical. At that point, you switch down to a smaller front wheel. For example, in this case, we've got the mixed combination of the 625 in the front and the 800 in the rear. Uh, you might take another step further, particularly if you're a less experienced rider or a particularly lightweight rider, you might choose to even have the 485 on the front. Um, you would only switch down at the rear as the very last resort when you want to reduce the overall side force on the bike. So that's for this reason why we have three rim height models in our range. The 800 for maximum wind, uh, for minimum um, uh, low wind days, and all the way down to the 485 for, for really high wind days.